friends welcome back to my channel so just a quick disclaimer before we get into today's video i am getting sick again so i sound super gross today and nasally and i apologize for that i'm going to cut as much gross sniffling and stuff out of the video as i can but you are going to have to deal with this horrible nasally voice i'm afraid hopefully i will get better soon <laughs> Um, but I still wanted to do today's video for you guys. So in yesterday's video, I told you guys that I have made some huge changes to my town. If you've been watching my channel for a little while now, you will know that I started a town quite a little while ago now, back in December of 2018. Um, and I haven't really updated you guys on it recently. And that is because I kind of got a bit... I don't know, I wasn't in liking the town as much as I did when I started making it. So I feel like in the short time I've had my YouTube channel, my building skills have already changed rapidly and my style of building's changed rapidly. And with Bloxburg having updates all the time, I feel like the town felt a bit outdated and it wasn't quite as I wanted it to be. So I've kind of been reworking some of the older parts of town before I move on to finishing it with the new building. And there's still lots I need to change. I'm going to change a lot of the insides of the shops at the moment. I've kind of done mainly the outside. But I thought I'd update you guys on how the town is going so you can see what it's looking like at the moment and see why I haven't uploaded any videos on it recently. So let's have a look around. So first thing you notice on the street behind me, I have recolored some of the shops down here. So originally when I made the town, these buildings were all like... This was all grey up here, this was all pink up here and I don't know, I kind of didn't like that. I kind of felt like it was just too colourful and pastel-y so I decided to just have the colourful bits on the shop parts and then the apartments above are just like regular kind of bricks and stuff. If I zoom out you can see the buildings properly. We've got like the little chimneys and stuff upstairs that match and I'm so much happier with how it looks like this. I think it looks a lot more stylish. I've also changed a bit of the shop front so I've used these like... I don't know what these are called, things go above ovens, oven hoods or something, um, above windows now rather than the roofs all the way down and I really like how they look and I've got rid of some of the roofs and stuff. I think it just looks a bit more stylish so that's the outside of those. I haven't changed any of the shops on this side inside yet, I am going to update them a bit. I did quite like this one to be honest, this was my toy shop. Um, but I haven't really changed any of the insides of these. show you inside the diner quickly this is what it's looking like still i am definitely going to change some things in the diner oh my god it's raining that is not what we wanted um laundromat just gonna i don't know if i'll change something there i quite like the laundromat i think it's quite pastel and cute i might just change some of like the textures now that we have the new textures in blocksburg and then finally the pet store i'm definitely going to change some stuff in here i definitely think I can improve this. The other huge change you guys probably noticed on this street is that we now have a school bus outside the school. So this is my yellow school bus. This is just like the one you saw in my video a little while ago where I made some vehicles. So this is just that outside the school. I think it's just quite a cute little touch. And then we have like the crossing here and stuff. I think this was here before to be honest. Um, this school, well it's a daycare. I am actually thinking I'm going to completely redo the inside of the daycare and turn it into a proper school because I want to add like a basement layer so I have more room that's an idea I got from my friend Ashley she's working on a town at the moment and she's been adding basements under the building just to have more room in her town so I'm thinking I might do that I might add a basement underneath and turn it into like a complete school with like a canteen and classrooms and stuff so that's definitely something I'll probably do it in the future. If you want me to do a video on that guys, let me know. If not, I'll just build it off camera and show it you afterwards. But I've also added some greenery and stuff out here. I think before I had like a car park out here and then I just kind of felt like the town needed some more greenery in general. Like it was looking very, I don't know, plain. Everything was like this colour and the grey colour and I felt like it needed a bit more. So I added some greenery outside the school which I definitely like inside the daycare at the moment it's just the same as it was before just colourful and I definitely want to redo it because I just kind of feel like it's a bit too plain like it needs a bit of a makeover um let's head over to the the schoolyard here I have just changed a few bits in here I've added a few more trees and stuff I've repainted the outside of the little house here like the little playhouse the inside is still the same at the moment just try it, close my door. Um, repainted the sand pit, I think. I don't think it was this red before, I'm not sure. And I also added like this liney grass that I pretty much put in every build. I've added that all over town now. And also, like the other big thing, we have another bus here. This is just 
Yeah, every day, single decker bus for getting around town. That's what we've added here. So I feel like that's everything on this bit of town, like the street here. So where should we head next? Um, we'll head to, let's go to the hospital because I've made some huge changes in my hospital. Um, if you watched my video where I toured my friend Ashley's town, you will know that I was absolutely in love with her hospital. I'm so jealous of how much she managed to fit in it and I just wanted to redo mine. Um, the ambulance is pretty much still the same. I think I'm going to redo inside up here eventually because I much prefer the inside of the one I did on my video a couple of days ago. So I'm definitely going to redo the inside of here and improve it a bit. Oops. Uh, but that's just what it looks like for now. It's just a basic little ambulance. So definitely going to be some updates on this but let's head in the hospital the outside of the hospital still the same not really changed anything just added some greenery here and a hospital sign which i definitely think looks much better than just having a huge car park so let's head inside so we've got the sliding doors here when you come in you still have the reception i've not changed anything in the reception which is just what that looks like but over here i have actually added a little canteen so this is a little canteen for the hospital, I just have this nice fridge here that you can put drinks and stuff in, so we'll just close that and then we'll just have the area behind here where they cook food and stuff and this is where you can come get food if you have somebody in the hospital that you're visiting and you're going to be there a while and you need something to eat, this is where the little canteen is. Um, coming down here this is basically just the same, we just have the waiting area here with telly and everything. Um, the bathrooms here I haven't changed, I've just made them a unisex bathroom because I had two sets of bathrooms before, I had a male and a female bathroom but now we just have one downstairs and it's just a unisex bathroom. So let's head up the stairs and have a look up here. So up here, the ward area, I've not changed too much, I've just added a few like cute details to it that I didn't have before so I've added over here, oops, just squeeze past, I have some get well soon cards, I have some balloons next to the bed, I think that definitely is a cute touch. Uh, this one I just added some flowers that somebody had brought to them, I've got some balloons on this one. And this final one we have everything, they have a get well soon card, flowers and a balloon, they are very spoiled. Um, but that's the ward area. Um, we now have two x-ray rooms, before I just had the one x-ray room and then this was like another bit of the ward, we now have two, so these are just the same as each other, um, I made a few changes in here from last time, I think I've retextured some of it and I definitely think it looks a lot better than it did before, so this is just the x-ray room and then we'll head next door quickly, oops, so I'll come in here, this is the second x-ray room which like I said is basically the same as the other one but just kind of flipped, so that is that floor, oh my god I feel so gross and nasally guys, I'm really sorry if I sound horrific in this video, I'm trying my best not to. Um, if we come upstairs now, um, we just have, oh I added a doctor's office over here so this is where the doctors can come and do work when they're not, you know, seeing patients so I've just got lots of desks in here. I also added like thank you cards from like patients that they've helped, like they've sent them thank you cards so this is their office, there's another thank you card here, I definitely I think this is a nice touch on the towel. Um, this is still the playroom here that I had before, so this is just a little playroom for when kids are in the hospital, they can come play in here, so we just have lots of toys, we've got building bricks, toy boxes, toy kitchen, just everything you'd need in a playroom. Just close, oops. Oh no, I want to close the door, I don't want to play with the toys. Um, over here we just have some restrooms, so this is just little restrooms, a toilet and a sink, nothing too fancy. They're just like family restrooms. As you can see, they're unisex as well, and another little one here. And then these rooms are all just like the little doctor's offices. What do they call these? Oh, I can't see the sign. Exam rooms. So this is a little exam room in the hospital. The first one is just one for children. So this is like a children's doctor, and in here they have more toy boxes. They have pictures of like characters and stuff that kids like, so we've got Peppa Pig, we've got some superheroes, we've got Superman and Iron Man and it's just a cute little wardroom, I really like these stars, I've been using these a lot lately, they're very cute so that's just the little kids wardroom and then this is the adults one, so this is where adults will come get examined um, they're all just the same I think for the adult ones yeah, this one's the same as the last one. I think 
The very end one is slightly different just because it's a different shaped room and it has more windows so this is the last one so this is just where they come and get examined when they're not feeling too well. So that is the hospital, I think I showed you all it. I'm much happier with how it looks now than how it did when I originally did the hospital video. It's definitely got a lot more in it and it's a lot more detailed. So let's head back out of here, it's now getting dark in town, I've been making this video that long. Um, next we'll come over to the supermarket which I've not changed much on the inside, I've just recolored the outside. I wasn't happy with how it looked before, it's still very like, oops we're inside the house. Um, still very blocky but I definitely like how I've added this like darker green edging down here and then the lighter colour in the middle, I think it's very classy and it goes with like the pastel colours in the town. I also again added more greenery around here so we just have some bushes oops, and trees and stuff outside of here and then just have a smaller car park than I did before because this was all car park before. I definitely think it looks way better like this so that is what the outside of the supermarket looks like. If you just go squeeze past this which I'll talk about in a moment um, I'll just show you that it's all like this brick colour on the back which I definitely think looks a lot better than it did before even though it's still blocky oh my god we are not in a good mood are we we better run into a house quickly and get some coffee okay so I have a bit more energy now I can carry on talking about the supermarket I have not changed anything on the inside of the supermarket so if we head inside did my electricity go did it really Oh, that's really annoying. My electricity's gone, guys. Um, I'm just gonna finish the tour anyway. I thought I had enough money to be able to pay for my electricity bills, but apparently not. But I'm not changing anything in the supermarket. Thankfully, we can still see in here. Um, so this is what the supermarket is looking like. It's just the same as it was before. Just close the door there. And next, we'll head over to the park, which I have updated a bit so this is what the park looks like kind of annoying that my electricity is gone and now we can't see anything but thankfully i showed you the inside of like the hospital before because that was like the main inside change so i guess the rest is just outside it's not as big of a deal but the park i've just recolored some stuff i've kind of done it the same color as i did pookie's park in my back garden so it's brown and green and very nature -y. and we have like the striped grass which i think is a nice touch over here we've changed the ice cream shop to an ice cream truck so we now just have this adorable little ice cream truck out here with bunting and stuff on i think it looks way cuter as an ice cream truck than it did as a store i need to make some decals and stuff for it because i'm going to do my own decals on all the shops eventually at the moment they've just got like generic ones but i will eventually make my own for all of them so when i do like the final grand tour of the town that's what it will look like but yeah, that is the park. Hopefully you can see it in this horrible dark weather. I'm so annoyed that my electricity went, guys. I'm so sorry, but I don't actually have time to go fix it. So yeah, the houses are all the same as they were before. I just added a few details outside. So I've added mailboxes on all of them. And I've also added recycling and normal bins outside. So they all look the same. I'm not going to go inside them. If you want to see inside the houses, I have a whole video of them on the channel where I show you them because they haven't changed one bit i was very happy with them so they'll be staying the same so that is the houses um and now let's head over to this area which is the area that needs finishing oh by the way this is my little pickup truck that i made in my video the other day i've got one in town as well so this is the little pickup truck it's quite plain but you can come in here and yeah it's just, just a little pickup truck i thought it was quite nice next to the supermarket it could look be like someone who works for the supermarket dropping off i don't know items for the supermarket i guess um but over here this is like the bit that needs finishing now in town as you can see i have deleted the gym the gym's gone i was not happy with the gym i just felt it was too blocky and i wasn't happy at all with it so i decided to get rid of it and i think in its place i'm actually going to do a police station so Gonna have a police station in this area here and then this is the last little area over here and i'm thinking i'm gonna have a beauty salon and maybe like a restaurant or a pizza shop in this area here like i could fit two buildings in here quite easily so that is what's gonna go in those spaces there but yeah guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the tour of the town as it is at the moment i'm so sorry that the electricity went thankfully i managed to show you the insides of the buildings i have changed before that happened 
But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and comment down below with any future video ideas. You guys know I absolutely love hearing your guys' ideas. And thanks for watching guys. Bye. Mwah.